Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your coming in this conference. My name Andrik Purwasito with my partner Erwin Kartinawati. I would like to expose my title of the paper, Hybrid Space and Digital Diplomacy in Global Pandemic COVID-19. I want to talk about introductions. Since the emergence of social media such as YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, WhatsApp, etc. The adaptation of diplomacy into the virtual world has become increasingly prominent. This is because the international political actor often use social media as a way of conveying political ideas and message. This is what then become the center of the writer's attention. This is due that the implication of using the internet and social media like a webinar and zooming meeting have been proven to charge the way and practice of the diplomacy which require that every representative of embassy and which requires that every representative needs new strategy tactics or also management and governance the practice of the negotiation public diplomacy and also crisis management can adopt to this hybrid diplomacy and now literature review yeah we refer to the books especially books written by cornelio jola and Marcus Holmes written in and I want to show the second book that is about the digital communication and diplomacy written by Nicholas J. Kuhl titled Public Diplomacy Foundation for Global Engagements in the Digital Age on various occasion diplomat and foreign minister practitioners also often refers to it as revolution in diplomacy practice in fact the digital revolution in international relation was delayed for years because of line activist calls still be carried out when the covid 19 pandemic global has come we show that every state actor is changing their governance and ways of communicating through virtual network methods this paper based on my reflection of thought and therefore this paper does not use a specific methodology but I want to show that the qualitative interpretation it's the result of our reflection and presented in this form of narrative descriptions and following a st systematically determined. Finally, we come to the result and discussion. Willingness and readiness for digital diplomacy since 19 when the economic boom and historical acceleration through the development of communication information and transportation technology written by John Nesbitt and Art Budens in 1990 in fact international relations have started to the use of the internet for economic political and propaganda purposes and we saw that the creativity and adaptation to the digital environment we must note it that the dynamic of technology and its development are increasingly difficult to predict therefore in the dynamics and 
charging condition, the competition for the truth continue to be debated in the future. So, I think that the Minister of Foreign Affairs needs virtual public support to achieve this. Multimedia investment is urgently needed to create an advance human resources, capabilities, and infrastructure to produce digital visual works. Conclusion of this paper, finally, we concluded that global social network requires special management, especially in terms of crisis management. This is to balance both the competition for radical information, political debate, and radicalism that revolves around the issue of the truth claim on a particular problem. Finally, and entering the era of the digital diplomacy, technological innovation and adaptation of the new environment, so a conservative method must be changed toward innovation and virtual adaptation, which radically changes the norm and value and communication and diplomacy. Thank you very much for your attention. Good time.